in this presentation, I am going to discuss on what is called cystitis. Have you ever heard about cystitis? What is cystitis? So I urge you guys to watch this video up to the end and then you can appreciate what is cystitis and how it appears like sonographically. We have got a case scenario here of a patient who presented our radiology department. So you can see uh, from this image that we have here, here is our urinary bladder. So this is the urinary bladder that we have. So when the urinary bladder is infected or is inflamed, we then call that cystitis. So cystitis actually can be seen or can be identified sonographically by a number of factors. So you can actually see the thickening of the mucosa outline of the urinary bladder. So the urinary bladder can have thickened walls. You can also at times find internal echoes, internal echogenic particles in the urine. You can also find uh, infection that can actually spread to the kidneys. So in that context, when the infection spread, we are talking about the system being affected, then you can call that a urinary tract infection, UTI. So if you look at this uh, image, you can actually appreciate what I am trying to talk about. So it is pertinent that when you're doing an ultrasound scan, you have to look at the thickness of these walls. So you can see that these walls are actually uh, thickened. So when the walls are thickened like that, uh, that can be uh, a sign that you're dealing with a case of uh, cystitis. So you can see this urine is not clear. It has got a little bit of some internal echoes that you can appreciate or that you can see on ultrasound scan. So from this end, you can actually appreciate how thick the holes are. You can see the holes are very much thickened. So this is the urine that we have. Can you see the thickness here on the posterior wall, even on the uh, left side here, lateral wall, and then the right lateral wall, and then superiorly here. You can see that uh, the, the urinal bladder is concentrically very much thickened. So this is in keeping with what I am referring to as cystitis. So this is another sign or indicator uh, that the patient is suffering from cystitis. Patient with cystitis can also be associated clinically with hematuria. At the same time, it can have difficulties, painful passing a urine. So you can appreciate what I'm referring to or what I'm talking about. So when the urine uh, is, 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 is not clear with internal echoes or when there is what we call urine, urine stasis or urine stays for long here due to blockage of the infection, you can actually see the formation of sludge here at the same time calculi can also develop. So you can see from this again the thickness of the walls are always actually very thickened. Uh, the holes are very thick. We don't see urinary blood calculi uh, per se here, but the holes are actually very much thickened as you can appreciate from this image. So I, I think you can appreciate what I'm talking about. So it is very pertinent that when I doing an ultrasound scan, you have to check and measure the thickness of the holes of the urinary bladder, thickness of the holes of the urinary bladder, at the same time, you have to check at the urine for any sign of anechoic, um, anechoic nature or particles in the urine or stones that can present or any slides that you can maybe appreciate when you're doing the ultrasound scan. So on this tint map, we can also appreciate what I'm talking about. So you can see the thickness of the walls of the urinary bladder. You can actually see this, the thickened, the thickened, the thickened. So this is in keeping with what I'm referring to as cystitis. I hope you're fine, you're doing so well wherever you are. Kindly don't forget to subscribe to this channel and enjoy our free videos. Thank you so much for your time.